Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about chirality. We're going to figure out a way to determine if molecules are chiral or not. All right, so chiral molecules are non superimposable with their mirror images. So a chiral molecule has an enantiomer or has a pair of enantiomers. As a pair of enantiomers, okay? So it's actually really simple to determine if a molecule is chiral or not, all right? So chiral molecules, one, must have a stereocenter, and two, they can't be mesocompounds, right? Because from our previous video, we've seen that mesocompounds are achiral. They do not have an enantiomer. So the criteria for a molecule to be chiral is simple. They must have a stereocenter, and they can't be mesocompounds. That's it. So as long as something is, has a stereocenter and it's not meso, that molecule is chiral, and therefore it can have an enantiomer. Pretty simple, all right? So really, our options for, mo for molecules, they can either be chiral, so a molecule can be chiral, or they can be achiral, right? And then what I like to do is sometimes I like to give a reason. So I like to give a choice or a molecule is achiral because it's meso, okay? But there's really only two categories. A molecule can be chiral or it can be achiral, all right? So let's look at a few examples here and work, work, through, uh, work through a few molecules. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to classify these molecules as chiral, achiral, or achiral because it's meso. And what we're, we're first is just going to see if we have any stereocenters, right? So if we look at our first molecule here, right, this molecule has no stereocenters, right? So therefore, this molecule is achiral. Simple, no stereocenters, it's achiral. The next molecule, this molecule here, does have a stereocenter. It is not meso, therefore this molecule is chiral. All right, we look at our third example here. This does not have any stereocenters, right? That's a methyl, that's a methyl, that's exactly the same thing. Therefore, this molecule is achiral, it is not chiral. We look at our next example here. This molecule, that is not a stereocenter, right? Because it's attached to the same thing on the left and right. They connect with each other. That's not a stereocenter. Therefore, this molecule is achiral, okay? It does not have a stereocenter. The next example, these are all sp2 carbons. Can't be a stereocenter. No stereocenter. Therefore, the molecule is achiral. Okay. It does not have any stereocenters. Now we come to our next molecule. That's a stereocenter. That's a stereocenter. The molecule is not meso. Therefore, that molecule is chiral and has an enantiomer. When we look at our next example here, this is a stereocenter. That is a stereo compound, uh, stereocenter. This compound is not a meso compound. There's no internal plane of symmetry. Therefore, this molecule is chiral. When we look at our next example, we have a cyclopentanol ring. That is a stereocenter. That is a stereocenter. There's no internal plane of symmetry. This is not meso. Therefore, that molecule is chiral. Now our next example, this does have two stereocenters. Okay, both of these carbons have four different attachments. But what we can see is there is an internal plane of symmetry right? This compound is a meso compound. Therefore, this compound is a chiral because it is a meso compound, right? We have that internal plane of symmetry. Next example here, that's a stereocenter. That's a stereocenter. There's no internal mirror image, right? Therefore, this molecule is chiral. It is not a meso compound. Next example, that's a stereocenter, four different attachments. That's a stereo, four center, 
stereo center for different attachments. Is this compound meso? It is. There's an internal mirror image, right? So this is a meso compound. Therefore, this molecule, right, is a chiral because it is meso. Our next example here, that's a stereo center. That's a stereo center. Okay, there's no internal mirror image here. So this molecule is chiral, right? And this is the tricky example here. That's a stereo center. That's a stereo center. If I redraw this molecule by rotating that bond, right, if I rotate this bond and you see that that chlorine goes the same, there is an internal mirror image. That means that this compound is meso. Therefore, this structure is achiral because it's meso.